One of the big things about the Cavalier is this grandeur. You know, it was built back in the 1920s, and we're looking to be able to further that with the new development of the project and to be able to take and bring back some of that old world look. We work with the engineers and the architects to be able to come up with the most efficient way to be able to heat and cool as well as bring in a modern plumbing system into this building. Our company has been working with Upendor for the last two years on various projects. Two large notable projects will be the 20-story building that we're doing right now and that we're in the finishing phases now in downtown Richmond. As they went through and started to do the general layout and the pipe sizing of a traditional plumbing system, we sent it up to Upendor. They took those layout drawings and did another set of calculations using just the Upendor piping and the savings that we can have. We reduced the cost of the amount of fittings that we needed on the job. It reduced the amount of labor that we're going to be on the job, and so that way we could take that and give it to the guys here in the field to be able to get a quality install. This project is a 18-month long project. We're going to put about 12 to 15,000 linear foot of pipe in this building before it's all said and done. The larger diameter of PEX, the first thing that comes to mind is the weight. The sheer weight alone versus steel versus copper. Uh, the maneuverability up and down ladder. One of the challenges in this job is what we call the interstitial space. It's a crawl space between one level and another. This particular area, with the use of the larger and the smaller diameter open ore, we were able to go through there and probably save a good 15% of the installation. In certain situations in the interstitial, where we had columns and beams and different heights of those beams, with copper, steel, we would have had to use an offset, different kinds of fittings, but with the PEX, it really allowed us to save more time and save more fittings by just dipping underneath, you know, cutting to the right or cutting to the left of that beam and continue running our pipe. If you see PVC and the making of the offsets, you have to put your T up, 90 over, 90 down the wall, and then 90 out, whereas with the PEX, it's just one T that has multiple ports that helps you lead to every fixture that you have to run to. There's no fittings, so all you have to do is just run the pipe. We are currently under activity in two of our towers of the three. We're at a 40% completion rate. I'm probably 18% ahead of my game, and I'm not even talking about that testing number that all of you plumbers out there know about. There's no other type of system that's on the market today that has that type of engineering support that's backing their, their product. Upanor came and became proactive from the very beginning of the job and offer us intense training, great Q&A, and but more importantly, hands-on tool usage. This game that we're in now is a team effort of engineering and installation. I highly recommend that you let your staff know that this is a whole new wave coming across the industry. The whole game changes when you start using Upanor. You have no mistakes. If you use the drawings that Upanor gives you, you will have a perfect job.